Temporary pacing is often a life-saving procedure done in an emergency. This is the picture or rather diagram of a temporary pacemaker kept outside with the controls on off switch and lock switch and this is the catheter which goes into the body. Here it is shown as going through the right femoral vein through the inferior vena cava right atrium into the right ventricular apex. This is the most often used methodology. Occasionally it can be through the subclavian vein because if it is an emergency procedure in the bedside if you put the electrode into the left subclavian vein it will naturally go into the right ventricular apex. Here you have to turn it that needs fluoroscopic guidance and another approach is the jugular that also will go straight into the right ventricular cavity. Those are useful in emergency bedside pacing in the cardiac ICU when a fluoroscopy is not available or when there is no time to shift the person to the cath lab. And uh, these bedside pacing can be better done using flow directed balloon tipped catheters. Once the catheter reaches the right atrium which can be identified by the atrial electrogram seen on the monitor, balloon can be inflated and the flow of blood takes it into the right ventricle. That is a balloon tipped catheter for emergency pacing. Then another such emergency procedure is when a coronary angiogram or angioplasty is being done. During an angioplasty procedure the catheter is already in the coronary artery and guide wire is in the coronary artery. And if there is a sudden unanticipated bradycardia the proximal end of the guide wire can be connected to the pacemaker using a crocodile clip and the second uh, limb of the circuit can be made by a needle punctured into the skin and connected with another crocodile clip to the pacemaker so that quick pacing is achieved. This is useful especially when the person is on anticoagulation that is during emergency occurring in the cath lab when angioplasty is going on person is probably fully anticoagulated and femoral puncture has a higher risk of bleeding. Yet another way of emergency pacing is using pacing paddles or rather patches in defibrillators. Some of the defibrillators are